This is an automatic door bell system project. This project is perfect for smart homes. Whenever someone comes to your door, the bell will ring automatically. Let's dive in. For this project, we will need an Arduino Uno board, an IR sensor to detect motion at the door, the ISD1820 voice recording module with speaker, some jumper wires, a USB cable. Before we move on, let us understand the ISD1820 voice recording module in details. This is the onboard microphone used to record your voice. VCC and GND pins provide power to the module. SP plus and SP minus pin should be connected to the speaker. Press and hold this recording button to record your message. You will speak into the microphone while holding it down. Hello learners, welcome back to our YouTube channel Robo Army. Press this play button to play the recorded message in edge triggered mode. It plays once with each press. This play L button plays the message in level triggered mode, meaning it will keep playing as long as you press and hold it. You can record up to 10 seconds of audio on this module. Now let's assemble the circuit. Connect the VCC and GND pins of the IR sensor to the Arduino's 5V and GND. The out pin goes to digital pin 2. The ISD1820 modules VCC and GND are also connected to 5V and GND. Connect the SP plus and SP minus pins to the loudspeaker. The FT pin of the ISD1820 module connects to digital pin 3 on the Arduino and REC that is a record pin to Arduino pin 4. Make sure to double check your connection with the circuit diagram. Now our circuit is ready and we need to add the code. Download the code files given in the description below. Open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE. Otherwise, download the Arduino IDE first. We start with defining the pins for our components. IR sensor pin for the IR sensor connected to pin 2. ISD1820 play pin for the playback trigger of the ISD1820 connected to pin 3. ISD1820 REC pin for the record button connected to pin 4. Next, we move to the setup function when we configure our pins. The IR sensor pin is set as an input so we can read motion detection data. The ISD1820 pins for playback ISD1820 play pin and recordings ISD1820 record pin are set as output. We also initialize the ISD1820 in an idle state by setting both pins on low and start the serial monitoring for debugging. Now we move to the heart of the program, the loop function. This is where the system continuously checks for motion and plays the custom alert if motion is detected. We read the state of the IR sensor using digital read IR sensor pin. If motion is detected, the state is high and we call the play alarm function to play the recorded message. The small delay ensures smooth operation. Now comes the most exciting part, recording a new alarm. The record alarm function let us set a custom sound. Here's what happens step by step. The REC pin ISD1820 record pin is set to high which starts the recording. We wait for 10 seconds while the user records their message. You can adjust this delay if you need more or less time. Finally, the REC pin is set to low, stopping the recording. The play alarm function activates the ISD1820 FT pin to play the recorded message. Here how it works. We set the playback pin ISD1820 play pin to high, which starts the playback. After a second delay, we turn the pin low to stop the playback. This ensures the message plays correctly and only once per motion detection. And that's it. Now upload your code to the Arduino. Connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable. Then select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. And now with everything connected and code uploaded. Press the record button to record a custom alert. Ensure you are speaking near the ISD1820 microphone. 
Now place the IR sensor and the speaker in this way by making a house type structure so that it looks presentable. And that's how our project works. As the IR sensor triggers by placing an object or working under it, the recorded message will play through the speaker. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.